What's going on guys? Today I want to show you how I built my mining rig from the several pieces from part 1 into one final product. And what you can see here on the monitor is that uh, I'm already mining a Zcash, that's one of the altcoins, one of the cryptocurrencies uh, which are mineable and I'm going to show you how. First thing you need is the RAM module right here. So your uh, mining rig has enough RAM to do certain tasks. Yeah, what you have to remember is that there is a little slit right here. So you put, have to put it in the right way as I did. And don't forget to put on a little bit of pressure. And as you can see here, you know, I didn't do it that well. so. Yeah, have to put on a little bit more pressure so it finally works out. And the right hand side, you can see there's still not enough pressure, so just force it down and then that's it. Next thing you'll see is the SSD. We have to put on the uh, cable from the power supply and also the data cable. So the uh, yeah, data cable can transmit information from the SSD to your motherboard. So that's what we're going to do first. What you can see here is the data cable, which I already put in into the SSD. It should look like this. Afterwards, you have to look out for the SATA cable from your power supply and plug in the cable to the left hand side of your SSD. What you will see in a second, yeah, right there. Yeah. This is what it should look like after it's finished. And yeah, the other end of the data cable you have to plug into your motherboard. So I decided to do it on the fourth port of the motherboard and it should make a little click sound and then you're done with it. Next thing I want to show you is the 24 pin connector right from the power supply, which goes directly into your motherboard. So the idea behind this is that your uh, motherboard gets enough electricity, enough power. So that's why it has 24 pins. And also don't forget to put it in the right way. The next thing is the processor, what I'm going to show you. So you have this little thingy right here. Just open it up yeah, like that. So this little box is opened. And then use this processor and put it in the right way. There are also like two slits on the side, so be aware of that as well. Yeah, and just put it in. And close the little box right here. You also can take off the plastic cover right here. Easy going. And yeah, put back down this little thingy right here. So put a little bit of pressure on it and it should be fine. Yeah, don't forget the fan, your cooler for your uh, processor, but don't forget to touch the uh, coolant, the little fluid in the middle of it. I did, don't do it. It's a waste and it's necessary to uh, yeah, efficiently cool your processor. And yet, tighten it up. Don't forget that as well. There are little screws on the side, which you can turn at like 90 degrees, I think. 
and then you're good to go yeah, and also don't forget your CPU fan which you can put in the motherboard with the CPU fan 1 it's a 4 dot uh, 4 pin connector you yeah, just plug it in so it's always cool done yeah one of the most important things of the mining rig are of course the graphics cards so what you can do what I did actually is that uh, I plugged into uh, one of the cards into the PCI Express 16 slot which is this thing right here also don't forget to do it the right way so turn it around look out for the slits yeah and put a little bit of pressure on the motherboard and you should be fine and it should look like this after that yeah, and the next things to get enough power you have to look out for the VGA cable from the power supply and put this cable right here yeah, it's a 6 pin plus 2 pin adapter into the graphics card The next things are pretty easy. So yeah, you've got the HDMI cable from your monitor and just plug it into the HDMI port from your graphics card so you'll see something if you want to first boot it up. And also don't forget your mouse and your keyboard with the uh, USB ports easy going. Same thing goes for the RJ45 cable so you get your, uh, your LAN connection. Now for the most important part of the mining rig, this is the PCI Express riser. What you're going to do, they also deliver it with this piece, just throw it away, you don't need it. So what you have to do is yeah, plug in the Molex cable directly into the PCI Express riser, which comes from your power supply as well. And then you also have the USB cable for the data connection. So just plug it into your PCI Express riser. It's a little bit difficult with just one hand. And then just put the other end directly into your motherboard into the PCI Express 1 slot done And of course, don't forget to put on the graphics card onto your PCI Express riser. And don't forget about the power for your graphics cards. So what you can see here is the already working mining rig after I've put 
everything up. Yeah, what I forgot is the 12 pin power connection for your CPU. This is needed as well. So it says CPU on your power supply and you put it in on your right hand side of your motherboard. And as you can see here, the fans are already on. So it's already working and already mining, which is a really good thing. It actually was pretty easy and I'm going to show you in the next part of this trilogy how uh, I installed all the software and what you should install as well. And yeah, just put on the screen and what you can see here is that it's mining. It's actually Zcash. Yeah, and that's about it. If you have any questions or comments, just comment below and I'll see you in the next video.